Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson. Since the Mach-E was released back in November, there's been new information and news released about the Mach-E. I thought I'd make a video to give you all the latest that's been released. Of course, the biggest question for many people is, when is production going to start and how is production going? Ford, as long as everyone else, has been affected by coronavirus and the factory that the Mustang mach -E is going to be made at down in Mexico was shut down. And of course, uh, Ford is probably also having some supply side issues as well. But the good news is, is that the order banks were opened on June 26 and the full production of the Mach-E has been scheduled for October 26 of 2020. That's pretty much all the information that's been released about that. We don't know how many cars are going to be producing per day, per week, per month, but it looks like full production will start on October 26. Hopefully if everything goes well, they will be able to get brand new Mach-E's to customers before the end of the year. For the Mach-E itself, there's been updates as far as specifications and other numbers related to the car. The first one that I'll talk about is horsepower and torque. It has been increased for all models of the Mach-E. So we'll start with the rear wheel drive standard range Mach-E. It now will have 266 horsepower and 317 foot pounds of torque. That's up 11 horsepower and up 11 foot pounds of torque. The rear wheel drive extended range Mach-E is now at 290 horsepower and 317 foot pounds of torque. That's a eight horsepower increase and 11 foot pounds of torque increase. The all wheel drive standard range is also up to 266 horsepower with 428 foot pounds of torque. Both of those are increased by 11. And finally, the all wheel drive extended range, which is the one I ordered, will have 346 horsepower and 428 foot pounds of torque. And that's an increase of 14 horsepower and 11 foot pounds of torque. If I could pause right now and just say, if you like this video with the information updates about the Mach-E, give it a like and subscribe to this channel. And that just gives me a sign that you want more of this type of information and I'll provide more of these in the future. Another tidbit of info that was released was about the hands-free driving modes that the Mach-E will offer. What Ford is doing is they're using a camera-based system to track your head and making sure that you're looking straight forward and paying attention to the road. So even if you're on the hands-free mode, that you still have to be paying attention to what's going on. You can't read a book, you can't look at your passenger for you know five minutes at a time and or fall asleep. Ford says initially they will have about 100,000 miles in the system of divided highways where you can go completely hands-free and let the system drive on its own. And then on other roads, it will you, you will have to have hands on the system, but it will still assist and do lane centering. So that seems like an excellent start for the system right out of the gate. And because the Mach-E will be connected, they will be able to offer over the air updates to improve the system as it goes on. Now, one thing that you need to take note of is that the hands-free mode will be a software upgrade for the Mach-E that will probably have a fee. They haven't said how much it will cost or even if it will cost, but more than likely it'll be just like with Tesla. You'll have all the hardware to support hands-free driving mode, but to actually enable it, you'll have to pay for a software upgrade. And that's expected to be sometime in 2021. One of the most talked about stats about the Mach-E is the range. While there hasn't been an update with in regards to the range for the Mach-E, there has been an update and how fast it charges. Ford has announced that they believe the Mach-E will charge 30% faster than they initially thought. What that means is that the extended range rear wheel drive Mach-E will gain about 61 miles in 10 minutes at a charging station. The all wheel drive will gain about 52 miles in 10 minutes. And for all versions of the Mach-E, they will go from about 10% to 80% charge in about 45 minutes. For most people, they will be charging their Mach-E at home and that's been updated as well. If you use the 48 amp home charger that is installed like on the wall of your garage, it will take about 10.1 hours to charge fully or about 30 miles per hour. Ford is also including a mobile charger with the Mach-E. So like if you travel and visit a friend, park in their garage, you can plug into a 240 volt outlet and that will get you about 21 miles per charging hour. So if you plugged it in for 10 hours, you'd have about 210 miles of range added to your Mach-E. 
Although, like I said, they haven't updated anything about the exact range of any of the Mach-E's. They did talk about how they are going to have the best range estimates on any electric vehicle. And the way they're using that is a combination of AI and crowdsourcing. That basically means they're gonna take in a lot of factors in estimating the range for the Mach-E. And of course that will be updated instantaneously to the driver so they can hopefully avoid ever having a dead battery. It's going to take into account a lot of different factors, including things like weather conditions, hot or cold, of course, will affect electric vehicles, traffic conditions, the more traffic you're in will affect your range, as well as even stuff like the slope of the road. So if you're driving in the mountains, it will take that into account in estimating your range. Some other notes related to range and charging, Electrify America has announced that they are not going to wait. They're going to switch to a, a by kilowatt hour charging method. And Ford also announced that you will get five free fill ups at Electrify America to start with. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's better than nothing. So that's a, that's a good bonus. One final tidbit before I go, a new color was announced for the GT line and it is a cyber orange, as you can see here. I think it looks pretty fantastic and is gonna be a popular color that people will choose. If you subscribe, one of my next videos, what I plan on doing is going over all of the Mustangs and finding photos and videos of the different Mach-E's in the different colors that have been spotted out in the wild. So I think it's a, it'll be a good video to see how the Mach-E looks in real situations with all the different colors. If you're undecided on which color that you want, it'd be a good way to take a little sneak peek and see which ones look the best in real conditions. That's all the updates I have for now. If you like this video and you want more updates, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. And if you have any ideas for other video topics I can cover, make those in the comments below and I'll see you soon in the next video.